Welcome to today's episode of the Arena Sports Show with me, your host, Helga Schutz. Well, it's the first show of 2024 and what a fantastic sporting year lies in store. We've got some great events coming up like the Olympic Games, the All-Africa Games, the Africa Cup of Nations and the Cricket T20 World Cup. And Namibia will be competing at all of those events. So let's hope they fly the flag high. Well, let's start off with athletics and the Quinton Steel Bootis Athletics Training Camp took place for the 31st year over the weekend. And afterwards, I spoke to the event organizer, Leonie van Rensburg. So let's hear what she had to say. Quinton Steel Bootis grandkids joined this camp. So it's also special for his kids and his wife and his pair um, family to stay behind. So that his kids was here. So it's in the third generation now. And um, yeah, Jonathan Gravenstein and Charlie Strumaget was Charlie's from South Africa. Charlie's 21 time that he um, was here to, as a coach. He started as a 19 year old guy and then sometime he was in um, Turkaya, he was head coach there for five years, so we, we missed him for five years. He's back now for the last eight years now, and um, they are also so looking forward to come. They said it's a very special camp for them. And then the Netherlands, who um, joined us, the Netherlands coach Greta Koons, who come and help with the long distance, and some of the um, athletes who do warm up with great athletes, all Olympians who are here. They do warm up and training with our Well, several of Namibia's top athletes were also at the Quinton Steel Bootis training camp and I caught up with two of them, Ryan Williams and Andre Retif. So let's hear what their plans are for the year ahead. I've attended Quinton Steel Bootis training camp since 2015 when I was still in grade 9 an athlete. So I attended until grade 11 and then since my matric year 2018 I've started coaching at the Quinton Steel Bootis camp. So this is my fifth year at the camp coaching and I'm, I'm very blessed and honoured to be a part of the coaching camp and to share my knowledge and my wisdom with the, with the younger generation. Right Ryan, it's also a big year of course Olympics and you actually the Namibian uh, record holder for the discus. So what are your aims this year? Uh, we have African Games in, in March, which is uh, uh, around the corner. So I am focusing on that. That is my main focus for this year. At uh, the previous African Games, I was 19 years old and I came fourth overall. So hoping this year to, to get a medal. And then African Championships is also in June. Um, so hoping to get, I attend did the one last year in Mauritius and I got a bronze medal so I'm hoping for a silver or gold this year and I feel this is a very good preparation for the Olympic Games later this year and um, the qualification standard is a bit high we have to throw 67 to qualify and I'm currently on a 61 but I feel with all the competitions if I can get maybe close to a 65 and um, 64 and a half I would stand a chance to go on rankings and then attend my first Olympic Games. Uh, I'm aiming this year for both to compete to com qualify for the Olympics in both the 400 meter hurdles and 400 meters flat. Uh, my time I'm, I'm off with a second on both of them, so it's, it's around the corner for me. I'm hoping for good competitions this year, um, and hopefully, if all goes well, I'll get my times down with that second and qualify for the Olympics. Now tell us a bit about your season last year and how did you fare in Namibia? Uh, last year was a good season for me. We didn't have a lot of competitions here in Namibia, unfortunately. Besides the nationals, there wasn't a lot of big competitions. Uh, but I ran my 46, uh, my PV again last year in the uh, 400 meters. And I ran my PV on the 400 meter hurdles last year for 50.71. Um, overall, I think it was a good year last year. I competed in about five competitions last year. Two in Namibia, three in SA. Yeah, and so you say you want to try and com uh, qualify for the Olympics, but any other big tournaments coming up or competitions? Uh, any other big, the Botswana is holding the gold league this year again, and then there's all African games that are also coming around the corner in the early April. Um, so there are two big competitions, hopefully they, they will also assist me in getting my times down and being able to qualify for the Olympics. Um, and then we are aiming for year, 
July, June, around to also get a few competitions overseas in Europe. There are a few gold leagues in Europe where we can compete in as well. Some wonderful rain there at the end of that interview with Andre Ritif. Well, let's hope it also brings good luck for him and Ryan. Well, Henk Boerta, the renowned coach of uh, Christine Mboma, was also at the Quinton Steel Boerta's camp. And we caught up with Henk, who tells us more about her preparations. Yeah, the first one will be in April, and that will be most probably in Europe, uh, because then she will be eligible to, to run. Uh, we are training very hard. We had a hard, hard session this morning in the, in the gym, and later today at 6 we will do another session. But we are excited, and, and uh, she's not there yet, but she'll be there in April, and she will be ready to perform. And uh, with the Olympic qualifier coming up, how crucial is it, and uh, how, uh, I think, uh, is the pressure for you guys to qualify, seeing as she would be... She's a, she's a medalist. Well, I think it's extreme pressure for, for myself and Christine because everybody is expecting so much, but we can just do the best. And obviously the, the main plan is to qualify as quickly as possible and then have a relaxed, uh, uh, unpressured way to prepare for the, for the Olympics of Paris. Let's move on to cricket. And Namibia has been drawn in a tough group for the T20 World Cup, which takes place in the West Indies and the United States in June. Namibia will compete in Group C along with the defending champions England as well as Australia who won the title in 2021. So let's take a closer look at those groups as well as Namibia's fixtures. We're still on cricket and Namibia's national under-19 team also qualified for the under-19 World Cup which starts in South Africa later this month. While at a farewell function in Winterk last week, the president of Cricket Namibia, Rudy van Vieren, gave the boys a great farewell motivational speech, so let's take a look. I have followed your journey closely since you were boys, for obvious reasons. But what I saw in Tanzania during the qualifiers totally stunned me. I could not believe the progress you have made physically, mentally and skills-wise. You were miles, no, light years, better than the opposition. But what stood out to me in Tanzania was the one thing that every sports team in the world is looking for. And that is camaraderie or brotherhood or whatever you want to call it, but it's the X factor that you can only have when you play for more than yourself. When you play for one common purpose, when you play for each other, when there is no prima donna in the team, when there is no Vinchat or guy who thinks he's better than the rest. Let's move on to football and the greatest show on the African continent, the Africa Cup of Nations, kicks off this coming Saturday in the Ivory Coast capital Abidjan and Namibia's brave warriors of course will also be there, one of the 24 nations competing for continental glory. Let's take a look at some of the favourites for this year's title. Egypt are the most successful nation at AFCON, having won the title seven times since its inception in 1957. They will once again be amongst the favourites, having reached two of the last three finals, although they haven't lifted the trophy since 2010. Senegal are the defending champions, having beaten Egypt on penalties in the 2022 final and are ranked second in Africa and 20th in the world. Morocco, despite having only won the trophy once in 1976, made history in 2022 when they became the first African country to reach the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup, while they are currently the top-ranked team on the continent with a world ranking of 13th. 
Algeria, who won their second AFCON title in 2019 and are currently ranked fourth in Africa, will fancy their chances, as will another North African team, Tunisia, who are ranked third in Africa, although their only title came 20 years ago when they won it on home soil. Cameroon with five AFCON titles, Ghana with four and Nigeria with three are African heavyweights and will always start amongst the favourites, while the home nation, the Ivory Coast, ranked eighth in Africa, will fancy their chances of winning their third title on home soil in front of their fanatical fans. Well, the Brave Warriors, they've been training in Ghana for the past week and take on the national Ghanaian team, the Black Stars, in a friendly in Kumasi tonight, so good luck to them. And with that, we come to the end of today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week and I'll catch you again next week. From me, it's goodbye.